How you going guys? I'm just going to show you over the Armour X10. A lot of people have been asking um, asking about a walkthrough through this van. Uh, I've done a fair bit of mods to it, but um, you know, like everyone knows, it's looking at them, you buy them off uh, Grays Online, and then from there the work starts. So I'll just show you through what I've uh, what I've done to it. So um, we'll start on the outside. Uh, rip the gas bottles out from the inside and put uh, two 4.5s on the outside. Um, I got the I got the uh, grease nipples all changed. They're all pretty much rubbish. Um, I bought a spare bought a spare shackle um, to go on my toe ball. The, the coupling because I've heard of them breaking. I haven't had any trouble. Um, these guys here I changed out. They had this. They had this little clip like this in there, which is these ones are so much better, you know, you, you push it down and then put it behind there and it's never come and open. Um, this thing's been this thing's been up to um, the Cape, Fraser, done a fair bit of travelling around Queensland. So you might not be able to tell there. I've put um, Rhino or Raptor down the sides where the stones were hitting and all under here. And over the mud guards, just freshened it all up again. This has been sold. Um, Michael's picking this up. This is his new machine. I've done me trip in it, and I'm going doing some motorbike touring next. So up the top, there's a uh, big 305. I'll just move because the sun might be knocking these around there. 305 watt solar panel. Right, so it's down the other side. Rip the. Um, Tanks off the back, move the number plate up the top, put two gas fittings at the rear, changed all the shackles to bigger ones, put a little bit of a safety extension on there as well. Um, same on both sides. And also up the top I ripped off the little latches and put these, I think they're a 703 um, over, count, over lever latch. So that's the outside. I've got a another gas outlet there. In here I've got the in here I've got the hot tap sitting in there. That box is not completely waterproof either guys so don't um, don't rely on it for that. Okay at the back you got your kitchen really simple easiest camper you'll ever set up. I've watched everyone else try there's no one quicker these things are the quickest. Got a couple of storage areas, that's our bucket. We use the original outlet here to put our uh, drain hose through. It sits there, lands against here, the bucket sits down there, it's our water connection. Our gas, big water tank under there, I think it's 130 litre stainless steel water tank. Right, you got the you got three uh, three legs to drop down, one there. You obviously got the jockey wheel and another one there. Look, that raptor coating come up really good. And another one on the other side. There's three water outlets, one there, one at the rear, and one at the front here. There's a proper tap at the front. Pump's been really good, haven't had any issues with that. All right, so we'll throw the top up and show you what this looks like. Again, this is really, really easy. Two latches. Seriously, you're not going to find any quicker to set up. If you want to just pull up and sleep, that's all you're doing. Undoing them latches. Just push her up. Let the struts do the rest, and that's it. In the front here, under the other side. Two shovels, we use them regularly too. They've been great little shovels. So they get me fold up one. I no longer carry a long shovel, I found them good enough. Alright, in here those are the two uh, jerry can holders off the back. Comes with a dunny. It's small so there's a king's one, it's a bit better. There's a hose in there, I've got an extension cord to throw in to give Michael as well. So it's a toolbox so it's so much bigger without the gas bottle holders in there. They just take up too much room, they're a pain in the ass in there, you want that big toolbox. So 
that's really good to get inside all you're doing now is undoing that undo this guy drop straight in you've got uh, you got fly screens if you want them right so you've got the fly screen there really simple clicks back onto the door so you can't get much easier than that set up now what we've had to do we took the covers off and just trimmed about an inch off the side there to allow this to slide back and forward it was getting crushed and again here with this one we went back to that point there you can see where it drops in and we cut a bit of the foam out of both sides of that um, you've got to put a fire extinguisher on so you've got the fire extinguisher there we mounted it there on the wall inside here this is your main area this is your bed downstairs you've got a bed upstairs you've got a uh, fly screen we've got the solid glass some of them have got split windows and then this obviously um, separates so you can have it you know clear all that way all that way all right you've got a stereo tv comes in it it's a piece of shit um you got some good lights there the lights are really cool they dim and all that sort of stuff uh, plenty of lighting there's a light upstairs as well yeah so the stereo is ordinary as well speakers are good power outlets are good i'll give you more detail in there in a minute the back we've got this taurus fridge fits in there nicely so there's the fridge works really good i'm actually if i'm my Waco ever dies, so there's a fridge slide, so they're pretty heavy. Um, the Waco ever dies, it's uh, going to get replaced with one of these, I'm really impressed with it. Alright, so that's that. Then you've got the uh, kitchen. So you've got the gas is in here. And you've got the little table. Little table that comes out the end. Then my wife got this um, Ikea chopping board which just fits in there perfectly you got the drop down leg it uh i'm not gonna drop the legs down but i'll just show you how that guy works they just drop down obviously adjust these drop them down lift your back up so there's a gas outlet this goes in here into our bucket we just go in there pull that through bang bucket goes under there connect the water connect the gas obviously into there really really easy um, we've got the little road chef. I got these brackets here made from um, a local engineering place, but Dunham Watson I've since found out of selling them. So you can you can just get them off Dunham Watson. Road chef's awesome. Throw some pies in, some schnitzels or whatever when you're driving. Make some uh, make some rats or have some pies or cook some roast veggies, whatever you want. They are they're good. They've got a bigger model now, but we like that. We, we cut down these little spice racks we got from IKEA as well. I've got these little jars. If you uh, travel on the um, you travel on the uh, development road, take them out. <laughs> if you're anywhere else, not a problem. But they come out of, on the development road. But everywhere else, they're really good. I think we started off with uh, six of them. We got down to five, so we smashed one. Um, solar panel lead. I just have it living in here. I just unroll that unroll it out of there and I just put it through here and it just plugs in there when we're uh, when we're, when we're camping somewhere right so that just goes in there like that push this up get it out of your kitchen a bit simple as that so that's uh, if you want your power again you've got another you got another table on another door on this side same deal really easy i'll put these up here just so i don't lose them pop this right and again if you want the fly screen you've got the option for the fly screen now if you've got problems with the doors popping open there's adjustment here right just undo them, push them over, and kept on getting the doors open, and I figured out the adjustment there. The other one I put a shim in as well. That's really good. 
there's a ladder for the inside connects on the other side over here on these two brackets um, my daughter doesn't use it she just slides the top back and jumps up but I'll show you that in a minute inside so yeah that's really just so simple we've made mattresses there, there two, two pieces of uh, eggshell my wife glued back to back and then um, got a doona cover and cut it down and sewed it up and the top one's made in two pieces one piece the size of the first piece that lifts out and the second one from the top from that piece back to the rear so um, yeah that goes up the top if my daughter's not with us we put it underneath our bed and have a super soft mattress right here so all the gas lines we ripped out and went up to half inch the local plumber sorted that out for me um, the drawer bar the jockey wheel got moved back welded on how good does that uh, how good does that wrap to look over that garden along the sides alrighty so I think that's all the back oh yeah you got your instrument panel here so you can uh, this is just a outlet to pull, run that and you can run a choke and all that sort of stuff so you got your rear lights at the top up here you got left hand and right hand lights on the side of the doors on both sides when you undo this awning you just need to fold the flap under and push it back up there or else that light will get blocked out but it's actually really good that it does block it out when you're sitting here and just having a meal or whatever you don't want it too bright it hangs down there you just get the reflective light dropping down so we quite like it how it, how it does that just more by us than anything um, so back in here yeah so you can see your water tank gauge it's pretty accurate um, you've got your top reading light your roof light which is off this, uh, this is the one up here reading lights are inside your water pump you hear the water pump pumps up straight away um, then you've got your outlets and yeah you got your lights your instrument your rear light okay so that's pretty much everything in there you got your power here for your fridge which i've got disconnected at the moment um, on the outside here you've got your uh your 240 inlet maybe somewhere where uh, you've got power i'll leave it plugged in just to trickle charge the batteries constantly at home so i don't get any fade in the batteries right and then you've got your main isolator i'll just leave everything off right couple of shelves up there we've got this little bit of non-slip it's really good stuff that bit of carpet a couple of bits of carpet in the top all right so if you want to get in here there's some good storage in here just get my wife to grab these cushions off me i'll just put them here actually so this guy just slips out you'd think it wouldn't come out but they just come out nice and easy now this is a pretty cool feature you don't, uh, you don't want to take chairs with you. Need to go back to back. Then you've got a good white chair. show you inside so you've got really good storage under here plenty of room again just appreciate this thing's been up to the cape and it's not just completely polluted with red dust or anything it's done pretty well you can see the condition of everything all right more storage more storage here more storage here okay. so this side I've got the uh, 
two batteries. You got your water pump, your water inlet. You got a pure sine wave 2000 watt inverter, and then you got your battery charger. Yeah, your, your mains. There's your two speaker cables. There's a cable going over here to the aerial. Once again, I said the stereo is shit. There's your fuse. Double power point, and you got power points here and here on the inside. That's actually the bracket from the um, from the uh, road chef to hold that down because it was actually didn't realise to start with, but it was moving around. So make sure when you get it. Those batteries aren't secured at all, they're just sitting in there on the tray. They must have fought off strong enough, not to matter. Um, so what I've done here is I've fused it as well. And you'll see in here, we've got um, fusing again. And we've got ourselves a... Uh, we've got ourselves a... Uh, and a drive DC um, DC DC charger that does the solar as well so it does a pretty good job nice and neat in there that's that piece of shit TV I told you about we put a bit of board up there just a bit of skirting channel just to stop that uh, stop the insects coming in these are the reading lights so you can just tap on the powers off from now just turn it off but they go multiple ways. You can tap, you can hold them to dim, then you can tap them for each free function they got. Um, yeah, so I've showed you those brackets. There's brackets for the um, storage on this side. Yeah, the other brackets for the ladder, sorry. That's the TV mount again. You know the story there, we don't use it. Right yeah, I've showed you how that window works. We've got over it again now, fly screen. You can split that and just go clear. Or you haven't got your shield if you uh worried about people seeing you get changed or whatever. Alright, so up the top here, this guy just comes back. Right. My daughter just jumps up. She just hops up here. Into the Put a bit of light on the situation. Right here, you got two strip lights. This is all how it comes. I've done no modifications at all to this. You got your cushions back here. You got pockets on each side. There's two strip lights. Power feed, power feed, strip light, strip light. This is your your cord to pull it down. I just literally pull the fabric on the outside just to pull it down. I don't use this. You got a front window. Right. And then you got the protective flap. There's two bits of uh, there's two bits of spring loaded wire that sit in these. Out to here again, we don't bother using them. Then you got your awning you can sit out as well. Sit there. Another one here. Really, you know, the quality of all the canvas is pretty good. There's been no issues with any of that. Right, you got a little little hook there. Same on the other side, little ring. Okay, so that's that's how that, that works. She just jumps up there and then slides this panel, this panel here back. So she just has a bedding up there. She jumps in that area there. And then just pushes this back with her feet and um, she's in bed. And, um, you can put a ladder on the outside if you want to get one of those longer ones from, from King's or a four wheel drive shop. Um, if you're that way inclined, but she feels nice and secure up here. Uh, if you haven't got any kids and you don't want that, you could um, you can actually just remove these pieces and, and go without them. So that way you're, you're basically going to be you're going to be looking at a lot bigger area. So you can drop them back and you know you can you can see I'm six foot seven and I can sit in under here without those back but you can see the size of the area it opens up to. You know you can roll these you can roll these in and you can't lose 
you've got these flaps in your face, you have got the little little ties and that. No need to go to that extreme. But you can see how open it can quickly be if you need to uh, throw those the other road. It's really good. Throw your bedding in your car or whatever, or up in there. All right, so that's inside the uh, that's inside the X10. I'll show you how quickly it folds up. Because again, I think it's first in class to to pack up as well. It's actually easy to leave one of those partially. It's easy to leave one of those things partially open to get back uh, to get the roof down. I find, but there's my wife wandering around after enjoying. After enjoying cleaning the camper up today ready for its new home but this has just been excellent for us we've loved it you know I don't know exactly what I'm going to get next time but I could possibly just get back into one of these again quite happily to be honest it was a big call for us to get rid of it is there anything else you think I should point out Misty? No, that's pretty much it I'll just get you to hold this while I quickly pack it up. Just show people around quickly again. Oh, it's got the awning. I don't think anyone needs to see how those awnings work. I'm sure everyone understands them by now. The awning quality is pretty good too. It's the same fabric as what's up the top there. Right, yeah, so that's the Armour X10. And that's my uh, Great Northern, which I deserve a sip of. Or a skull. Again, we don't do this. We just leave the bed set up. For us, it's a camper, not a caravan. Just saves us carrying around all our bedding and everything. We're just ready to go all the time. We love it. This guy just goes in here. one of these there are because this is the one we've cut that little piece out of one end. The other one we chop the piece right through. And that's it. This is how I pull the top down. Just gotta let the air, this is why I like to leave a little bit of the flap open. sure it'll be sticking out. Normally my wife helps do this but for the sake of the video if she's holding the camera.
that's it. You're on the road. So again, we don't normally pull the bedding out, the table and chairs, so we just roll up the awning, pull the top down, shut the boot, kitchen up, and we hit the road. You've got an easy way to go, Kevin, I'd like to see it. Make sure these are locked up. Done. So that's an X10. The stamped green proprietary limited on the compliance plate. Everything you see there is what it come with. Except for the gas bottles and the mods I've previously showed you. Yeah. You can see the old latches, the small ones that were on here, they weren't over centre. You want to do that. There you go, changes the suspension either. Just get under here and have a quick look. Oh, you've got a couple of things here. Spare wheels under there. You've got a drain to clear your water tank. You want to do that a couple of times. Here's the gas fittings. Half inch with a rubber coating on them. There's your suspension. I haven't had anything to do on that at all. I, um, when I first got it, I got the uh, my local mechanic to rip the bearings and the seals out and change all them to Japanese bearings. And um, obviously grease all the grease points and go over it. And you know, he was pretty impressed with the whole trailer, to be honest. So the bearings, you know, were Chinese, but there was nothing wrong with them. They didn't have enough grease in them was the only issue. So make sure you do that. You could probably just if you don't travel too far, pull them out and grease them. Pack them full of grease. There's the water. There was a couple of holes in the back tailgate that I put pop rivets in. And there was some holes underneath the floor that needed silicon. Yeah. Anyway, do what you gotta do to them yourself. This is that um this is that raptor coating. It's pretty good. This is Obviously, stone chipped. It's just that black paint they put on there. I don't think this stuff will be coming off. You can see the you can see the shadow line there. Hopefully, in the camera where I've masked that up, just these edges were getting hit. And again, on the chassis here, this was just blowing off that paint uh, on the gal. It's all get hot dip galvanized chassis. Like they've done a great job with the chassis. I got a fabrication shop to make up the the brackets for the um, for the uh, gas mount, and they were impressed by the chassis. Even the inspector, all the chains are properly rated. These are the stone chips, see? That you suffer. There's not much you can do about that. That's this is how the um, these strips here were, and this this edge is here before I got them um, wrapped it. That's it. Armor X10.